Today we're going to be showing how to calibrate the BPX301 hardness tester. I already have the device powered on and you can see the display has some readings on it. Um, so to get to the calibration mode all we do is hold down the back print button until the display flashes and the zero here flashes. So I hold it down about four seconds and the display flashed it's gone to zero and you can see now that everything on the display has, is showing a zero reading. Now if you had powered on, let's just turn off, and you powered on, your state would be with everything set at zero. Even so, to go into calibration you must hold the back print button down until the zero here flashes. It did, so now we are in calibration mode. To do calibrations, we do a minimum well, an exact number, in fact, of five tests. And we're looking for this HLD number here, 787, for this particular block. It's either going to be written on the side of the test block, or it's going to be on the uh, face of the test block here, laser engraved. Pretty hard to see, but you can just see around here is the laser engraving. So we're going to do five tests on this block. One. Two. Three, four, five. So you have to do an exact number, and we're doing an average here, and the average is 768. What we're going to do now is to go into our date time button and holding this down for two or three seconds until the display flashes and it changes to this. All we need to do now is to type in the 787 number that is for this particular block. Your block will be different, so you would put in that number. So we're just using the cursor control keys, so 7, there is 7, go across, 8, oops, too far, 8, and then 7. And to complete this, all we have to do is hit the back print button, and the unit is calibrated. It's as simple as that. So now you could go and uh, set it for different materials. It's not important to have the material type set. It doesn't make any difference because what we're doing is setting the unit to the HLD number. Now, if your unit has got into a state where it's uh, confused about what you're trying to do or you want to reset, um, sometimes it would be necessary. A little hole in the back here, use a paper clip, press it into there. You'll hit the reset button and the unit will go into reset mode into its default settings and then you could go ahead and do the calibration. That's it. Thank you.